Today we shall talk about a very important topic that is egg quality. Many patients tell me that they consulted few experts who told them that their egg quality is poor, their eggs are not forming or that their eggs are forming but are not rupturing, instead they are turning into cysts. What causes decline in egg quality? How can a woman improve her egg quality? I shall educate you about this. Egg is a very specialized cell of a woman's body made for reproductive function. 50% of the egg genetics and 50% of the sperm genetics fertilize with each other to form the embryo which gives rise to pregnancy. So, when a girl baby is born, she has a limited set of eggs, about 1 to 2 million and factually speaking, she loses more than half of this set by the time she attains puberty due to steady decline in their number. So, by puberty, she is left with only 3 to 4 lakh eggs. This is not all. Every month after puberty, the body selects a cohort that is a group of eggs as contenders to ovulate. One egg ultimately becomes the dominant one and ovulates on about the 14th day of her cycle. But what about her contenders? About 1000 immature eggs are lost every month out of the total 3 lakh. So, with this data, if I give you a rough calculate, every 8 years, that is about 100 years, that is 8 years into 12 months gives you 96. So, almost 100 years, you lose 1 lakh eggs because every month you are losing 1000 eggs. So, 1000 into 100 months will give you 1 lakh eggs. So, you are losing 1 lakh eggs every 8 years. So, if you have attained puberty at 16 years, by your 24th birthday, you have already lost 1 lakh eggs out of the total 3 lakhs, being left with only 2 lakh eggs. By your 32nd birthday, you are left with only 1 lakh eggs. And by your 40th birthday, you hardly have anything. So, you are approaching the close of your reproductive life, that is menopause. But yes, science is not math. It is not the same for every woman. Your ovaries may age sooner or even slower than the rest of your body. And no two women age at the same pace. Unfortunately, even as a fertility specialist, I have no control over your ovarian aging. Coming to the other part of the story, beyond about 38 years of age, the eggs slowly lose their capacity of autocorrection. That is, when the eggs are fertilized by the sperms, there may be certain small chromosomal abnormalities in the newly formed embryos which are supposed to get autocorrected, whereas this capacity is lost due to aging of eggs. Even at younger ages, there is a very common condition called as polycystic ovarian disease where eggs or follicles exhibit a form of insulin resistance due to which glucose in the bloodstream cannot enter the follicles. This halts their growth somewhere around 8 to 12 millimeters. But in fact, follicles attain maturity and can be eventually fertilized by a healthy sperm only if they reach a size of 18 to 21 millimeters. So, how can a woman improve her equality? Age is the most important factor. The earlier you try to have a baby, the better is the outcome. The next common cause is lifestyle. Mild weight reduction and regular exercises of at least 30 to 45 minutes twice a day shall help you in a long way. Avoid junk food. Avoid processed oily and spicy foods. Eat more of raw vegetables and fruits. Among fruits, citrus fruits are the best like lemon, oranges and so on. Drink lots of water and try to keep yourself stress free. Moving to greener pastures, at any given instance, you have more number and better quality of eggs today than what you have next year this time. Remember, the biological clock is ticking. Beat this clock before it's too late.